I don't really have an excuse for this video, but I thought it would be really fun if I tried to paint the Mona Lisa from memory. Because we all know what it looks like, but do we actually know what it looks like? Cue the copyright free song called Mona Lisa that every single 18 year old YouTuber plays in all of their what I eat in a day. She's a Mona Lisa. I'm gonna describe to you what I think the painting looks like. I believe her skin is kind of a light skin color. I believe she's wearing black and I feel like she's leaning to the right because when you look at it, I think she's leaning to the left, if that makes sense. In terms of the background, I am getting like a greeny gray vibe, but I really can't remember. And then also her hair is brown. Does she have eyebrows? I feel like there was a whole thing about how she didn't have eyebrows and everyone was freaking out about it. We might need to cross the eyebrow bridge when we get to it. In terms of how much of her body is in the shot, I believe it's kind of like a waist up situation. She's a Mona Lisa. So that's her head. I'd just also like to state for the record that I've never taken art classes. I'm not one of those people who's like, I'm a terrible painter, but actually are amazing. I'm genuinely not a good painter. So this will end up looking very budget friendly. Oh, painting is so therapeutic. I feel like I've just painted the best egg ever. For some reason, I feel like her neck and her boobage, like her cleavage is exposed a little bit, but I feel like that's quite risque for the times. But also I really think that you can see her boobs a little bit, but surely not. Her neck looks really thin at the moment, but if she's like facing this way, then it would kind of, this is really hard. I really hope she is leaning to the right. Oh, there's a bit of pink in there. I'm kind of vibing with that. Maybe I should do, oh. That's too much pink. Oh no, mayday, mayday. Damn, there's really, there's a lot of pink in there. I'm going for that like real rough kind of look, you know? I don't know how the Mona Lisa was painted, but I'm putting my own spin on it right now. I don't want to speak too soon, but I feel like I've absolutely <laughs> nailed that part. I've changed into my bathrobe because I did get paint on my white jumper. Oh. I think this is gonna look really good. So I'm pretty sure she's just got kind of a long straight look. I feel like this haircut's a little bit too modern for Mona, but it's what I've done and I can't really go back now, can I? So far, I feel like this painting is looking really good, but where I'm gonna mess it up is her eyes and her nose because I don't know what she looks like. I'm pretty sure she's got brown eyes, so I'm just gonna use the same color as her hair. So if you had eyes... Uh-oh. Hmm, not off to a great start with the eyes. <gasps> I don't think that's too bad. It definitely still looks like she's on an angle. Oh wait, eyes have white in them too. Ooh, I might have to add that later. Okay, not too shabby. <laughs> I feel like I should have defined her jawline a little bit, but I don't really know how to do that. Uh oh. I mean, is that that's not too bad. Like it's not terrible, right? Uh oh, did I just ruin it more? It's not great, it's not terrible. Oh, it's pretty bad actually, isn't it? I feel like she's got quite a soft little like nose. That's terrible. Oh my God, the nose is in the wrong place too. Her nose should be over here, but I've done it in the middle, which is fine. It is what it is. Let's not beat ourselves up. Art is about expression. Art is about the journey, not the destination. I'm pretty sure her mouth is closed and she's not smiling. Although now that I'm like visualizing the Mona Lisa, I'm feeling like I'm getting it mixed up with another painting. And that is actually stressing me out because what if everything I've done is wrong? My hand is shaking so much. Let's move on now to her clothing, which is so exciting. I feel like this little fashionista is just wearing all black. I feel like it's a robe, but then why do I think that she's wearing cleavage? Maybe it's like, like an old school dress that cuts right here. It has like a square neckline and then it has sleeves. Maybe that's what it is. I really have to stand up for this one. <sighs> I'm getting into this now. This is ballsy, but you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. That feels kind of right to me, actually. Wait, why does this look so good right now? I'm not saying it looks like the Mona Lisa because it kind of doesn't, but it looks like a pretty good painting. I might be onto something here. Right now, it does look like she's just wearing a bit of a strapless moment, but I need to put her arms, hmm. I didn't leave a hole for the armpits. I guess I'll just paint on arms anyway. I mean, that's not ideal, is it? Um, I don't hate it. Let's put her boobs in and see how we go. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, yes, this is the Mona Lisa. And then other times I look at it and I'm like, who is she? I'm just gonna do the classic boob thing where it's like, 
you know, like that. Did I go too overboard? I just let her dry for a little bit um, so that I could add some details, go in with some finishing touches on her face. I would love to know a bit more about her. Like, is her name Mona? Does it stand for something? Is she just a regular person? I literally have to stabilize this hand with this hand because my hand is shaking that much. This is her. I think she's pretty cute, actually. She's a bit more modern than, you know, the traditional Mona Lisa, but are we complaining? Like, let's take old classics and let's just make them better. I put such minimal effort into her nose, but I actually just don't know, like, what I could do to make it better because I've never painted or drawn a nose in my life. I guess I could add a nostril. Hmm. That kind of ruined it, actually, didn't it? That definitely ruined it. I think that's it for her body and stuff. Like, I think she's not holding anything. Pretty sure she doesn't have eyebrows. Like, I think that's a thing. Although, to be fair, we all have a brow bone. Oh no, that's so dark. What happened? That's fine, it's fine. We're not gonna freak out about it. That just looks like eyebrows, doesn't it? Oh no. Oh no, I've ruined the whole thing. This was going so well. I keep making it worse. Oh my God, what is happening? I was doing so well and then I decided to add brow bones. What a stupid idiot. Who thinks that they can achieve brow bones? Like you're not an artist, Harriet. I was too big for my boots and now I've run out of the skin tone color that I made and it was a very specific blend of different shades and I can't figure out what I did because obviously I didn't write it down. Now it looks like she has a bruised forehead. I might do a second stab at the nose actually, since I'm painting over her whole face. Let's whack on a different nose. I might try a different technique. I feel like that's worse actually somehow. Yeah, it's definitely worse. I could be sad, but I'm choosing not to be. I'm actually choosing to just embrace her nose as it is. I am gonna do more nostrils because I liked that look. That kind of ruined it actually, didn't it? That definitely ruined it. It's now time for the background. The colors that I'm getting are definitely like blacky, gray, green, like a dark, moody background. I just can't think about what is behind her because I feel like it's not just a plain background. I don't know, there's some kind of structure behind her maybe, or she's in like an office. That feels good to me actually, I don't know why. Remember when I said that I wasn't gonna do a plain background and I've just now painted the whole thing green? But I do plan on adding some elements of excitement into this at some point. That seems a bit green to me. But I just like don't know what's behind her. Maybe I'll do windows. She's definitely in a house. She's definitely in a house. Is she? Oh my God, I just don't know what the Mona Lisa looks like anymore. I'm just gonna do some kind of ambiguous structure behind her. Like it could be a window. It could be a bookshelf, it could be a door. I'm getting quite creative now. I'm just gonna do some marks and stuff just to make it a bit more exciting in the background. I feel like that's kind of it. I don't wanna add anything crazy. I'm just gonna sign off on it because I am an artist. So I'm gonna do an H. Because my name's Harriet, in case you didn't know that. I think it's done. She's a Mona Lisa. But I kind of wanna make it better. A bushy brow, I think, would suit her very well. Yes! That looks cute on her. I made the Mona Lisa shy. I think she looks so much better now with the eyebrows and with the... Yes! So, now is the moment when I can Google the Mona Lisa and compare and contrast. So, I'm typing it in now. Oh! Oh my god! The reason that I thought that the background was green was because it's a full-on landscape painting in the background. Absolutely, she's not in a house. <gasps> she's facing the right way! Oh my god, guys, she's facing the right way! I'm so proud of myself. She did have cleavage a really tiny bit in the original photo. Do you know what? I actually think I did a really good job. Obviously, there's no landscape painting in the background, but I actually think that I have captured the essence and the vibe of the original Mona Lisa. For this video, I think I deserve a seven out of 10, maybe a six. I cannot wait to hang this up on my wall. I hope that you guys love this as much as I do. I had such a great time today. Rate my painting in the comments, please. I would love to hear how you think I did. And as always, I will see you next Wednesday with a new video. And just look at her. Oh, she's so cute. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. 
find the beauty goes much deeper. 